Welcome to the official personality guru. As an INFP, your primary mode of living is focused internally, where you deal with things according to how you feel about them or how they fit into your value system. Your secondary mode is external, where you take things in primarily via your intuition. INFPs more than other intuitive feeling types are focused on making the world a better place for people. Their primary goal is to find out their meaning in life. What is their purpose? How can they best serve humanity in their lives? There are idealists and perfectionists who drive themselves hard in their quest for achieving the goals they have identified for themselves. INFPs are highly intuitive about people. They rely heavily on their intuitions to guide them and use their discoveries to constantly search for value in life. They are on a continuous mission to find the truth and meaning underlying things. Every encounter and every piece of knowledge gained gets sifted through the INFP's value system and is evaluated to see if it has any potential to help the INFP define or refine its path in life. The goal at the end of the path is always the same. The INFP is driven to help people and make the world a better place. Generally thoughtful and considerate, INFPs are good listeners and put people at ease. Although they may be reserved in expressing emotion, they have a very deep well of caring and are generally interested in understanding people. This sincerity is sensed by others, making the INFP a valued friend and confident. An INFP can be quite warm with people he or she knows well. INFPs do not like conflict and go to great lengths to avoid it. If they must face it, they will approach it from the perspective of their feelings. In conflict situations, INFPs place little importance on who is right and who is wrong. They focus on the way that the conflict makes them feel, and indeed don't care whether or not they're right. They don't want to feel bad. This trait sometimes makes them appear irrational in conflict situations. On the other hand, INFPs make very good mediators and are typically good at solving other people's conflicts because they intuitively understand people's perspectives and feelings and generally want to help them. Today, let's talk about understanding the INFP's sense of intuition. Each personality type has some sort of intuition. It is simply more powerful for some than for others. Not only does the potency of intuition vary from type to type, but there are also different types of intuition that are expressed in very different ways. For some, there is extroverted intuition, while for others, it is introverted which is much stronger and more naturally used. To understand how each personality type will respond and experience things, knowing their intuitive strengths and weaknesses is certainly important. INFPs utilize their extroverted intuition as their secondary function and this helps them to observe the world around them. Their extroverted intuition is more focused on patterns and seeing all of the different potential outcomes of a situation. INFPs are connected to their intuition, but they need to understand where this comes from and how it works. Some people get the notion into their minds that intuitive abilities are some sort of mystical abilities instead of the logical and practical reasons behind an individual's intuitive strengths and abilities. How about you? What are the other things that you have observed in an INFP? INFP and Extroverted Intuition While some people might misunderstand how INFP intuition works, it is important to take a deeper look to fully comprehend it. The INFP doesn't use the same intuition as the INFJ does, which makes them rather different. Instead, they use a more outwardly focused intuition, which concludes patterns and different ideas. This is part of what makes the INFP so naturally creative since they are searching for things that are new to figure them out better. They draw in all of the information they see, and their minds start to work through different patterns from these details. The INFP can see all of the ways something could turn out, instead of seeing it in a straight, narrow line. They pick up on the patterns and this helps them to figure out which choice is the most beneficial for them. This can cause the INFP to analyze situations for long periods, though since they can see the potential in more than one choice. They often want to experience different things because of this and are naturally curious people. INFPs don't like being locked down to one choice, 
and instead prefer to feel free to experience different things and different ideas. Instead of simply seeing one narrow path, the INFP has a mind which ventures down so many different directions. This is part of their extroverted intuition since they see patterns and envision things in much more complex ways. For the INFP, their intuition might not be their dominant function but it is still truly important to them. This is what helps them absorb information from the world around them and helps them to assess the best path to take. INFPs dominantly focus on their introverted feeling function, but this is often something that works with their intuition and is combined to make the INFP who they are in a lot of ways. Trusting their intuition The INFP needs to learn to trust in their intuition, but this is something that can take time and growth. The INFP might be more focused on their inner emotions and this draws them away from trusting in their intuitive knowledge. When the INFP tries to focus on practical things and live the life expected of them by others, they can wander further away from their intuition. The more they draw towards what others want for them and try to live in such a narrow scope, the INFP loses part of themselves and what comes more naturally to them. This is why having a sense of creative freedom in their lives is very much important for the INFP. They need to have ways of expressing themselves and exploring these parts of their minds. Their creativity is something that helps them tap into that sense of intuition. This is why the INFP feels more like themselves and is capable of growth when they are working in careers and environments which allow them space to be creative. When they start to stifle this creativity and the unique way in which they think, the INFP loses the connection with their intuition. They need to find ways of expressing this, even if it is outside of the workplace. This is also part of what makes the INFP so imaginative, which is why their intuition is important to them. The INFP enjoys spending time envisioning potential future outcomes and combining this with their own inner emotions and powerful feelings. For them, observing the world around them and taking this all in is something that comes naturally. They need to be free to analyze the patterns and be open to all of the potential that the world has to offer. Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience for a chance to have your comment pinned. If you enjoy the video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official Personality Guru for more amazing videos. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. Intuitive Weaknesses All personality types will have certain weaknesses when it comes to their intuition and intuitive abilities. For the INFP, this weakness comes when they start to analyze the information for far too long. Instead of trusting in their intuition, the INFP becomes more focused on trying to break down what they see and this leads to second-guessing themselves and their knowledge. The INFPs have such vivid inner minds and sometimes they can become trapped in this loop of their inner monologue. INFPs do sometimes read into things too much. Instead of simply trusting in what they know and feel, when this happens, the INFP needs to take a step back and stop focusing too much on things they cannot change and should not try to change. Trusting in themselves and their inner morals is also important for the INFP, and this is something that helps them to utilize their intuition more honestly and naturally.